So you want to clone your Fire Stick. Maybe you bought a bunch of Fire Sticks for your family and you want to make sure that all of them have the exact same applications. Or maybe you're a Fire Stick seller and you want to make sure all of your customers get the same Fire Stick with the same applications installed. There's just so many reasons why you may want to clone a Fire Stick or just ensure that each Fire Stick has the same applications installed on there. Now I did do some research online to see if there was a solution for this and the best solution I found um, honestly wasn't that great and that solution was essentially just use downloader and then all of the applications you have downloaded which we can see here somehow just export them over to your computer and then export them back onto your other Fire Stick. Now the big problem with his solution is the fact that lots of you, myself included, tend to delete these files as soon as we finished installing the application because there's no need for us to keep them and we also get to reclaim that space. So his solution relied on the files all being available in here but as we can see that's just not going to work. On top of that lots of you use other applications like file linked and other repositories so having a solution that relies 100% on downloader is just not going to work. So what we need is a single application that shows us all of the applications installed on our Fire Stick. It doesn't care where the applications were installed from, whether that was file linked or downloader or anywhere else. It allows us to back up those applications over to our PC and we can then push those applications out to any Fire Stick that we like. So do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to get this application, make sure you have the apps from unknown sources option enabled. Once you've done that, let's press the home key. And let's now open up Downloader. Now inside Downloader, we're going to make a connection to my website. And the address for that is just bit.ly forward slash tduk. That's me and the numbers 2019. Let's type that in and click on go or just press the play button on your remote. That will take you straight to my website and once you get there, we now need to go to the tutorial section. So let's click on the hamburger menu, click on tutorials and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can clone or back up your applications from one Fire Stick and then push them onto other Fire Sticks. So let's open that up and here it is. So the application we're going to use to complete this procedure is called Me Explorer. So let's scroll down. Here we have the some information about the application. And then we have the step-by-step -step guide. And if you keep going down, we should see a link to the software. Let's click on that and let's scroll down to the green download button. There it is. Let's click on that. And that will then download the application directly onto your device. And we can now click on install. Give that a second. And that's now all done. So let's open that up. So when you start this application for the first time, this is what you'll see. We have the bookmarks on the left. And then when you click on something, you'll see the content of that bookmark on the right hand side. So here, for example, is my internal storage. And we can recognize some of these folders like downloader and some of the other folders. And if you go further down on our bookmarks, we can see here we have one called app. Now, when I click on that, this now shows me all of the applications installed on my device. As I mentioned before, it doesn't care where they're installed from, whether it was from my website or from somebody else's file linked or even from the Amazon App Store. Anything that's installed on my Fire Stick, we can now see it here. So here we can see I've got my um, IP Vanish, we have my Prime Video, we have uh, this TV application, we have Task Killer, and so on and so forth. Now what you want to do here is decide which applications you want to back up and then push them out to your other Fire Sticks that you want to configure with the same application. So in my example, I'm going to say, let's go to the top. So let's say for example, I want to back up uh, Me Explorer because that's the application I'm using. So I'm going to press and hold the select button on that. That's now selected and we can see we get a one on the top left just to show you that one application is selected and the application is 3.4 meg in size. Now I'd like to back up this uh, FitC TV. Let's click on that as well. We now have two applications equating to 17 meg in size. Uh, I want to back up uh, this thing over here, my Airy TV. Uh, let's keep going down, uh, far linked. Uh, let's take the debloat tool, that's seven. So in this test, I'm going to back up just 10 applications just so you can see what the process is like. 
Now let's get the live channels, that's eight. Let's get ADM, that's nine. And lastly, let's get Wolf Launcher. And for the guys that do regularly follow me, just so you know that the latest Amazon update, which is 6.2.7.3, has broken the custom launchers. And I've tried like four or five things to get this working, but Amazon have really, really locked this out. So on one of my Fire Sticks, which is actually this one, it's still running 6.2.7.1. And with that one, I can still use a custom launcher. But as soon as you go to the next version, which is 6.2.7.3, it definitely breaks it guys. So I am working on a fix guys. So make sure you are subscribed and you've hit that notification bell. Okay, so we've got 10 applications selected now. So once you've selected all of the applications you want to back up, we now need to copy and paste these applications onto another folder on our Fire Stick. And the reason for that is, is once we pasted it there, we can then connect to that folder from our PC and then just pull down those applications. Okay, so we've got those 10 applications selected. Let's go to the top and then select this icon up here, which is copy. So let me do that now. They've now been copied. Now, if I go onto the left, and let's go back to internal storage. I'm now going to go to my downloader folder. You can really choose whichever folder you like, but just for simplicity, let's use this folder because this is typically where your applications are normally downloaded anyway. Okay, so now at the top here, we can see we have the paste icon. I'm gonna click on that once. It says there's 10 files waiting to copy. I now click on that and I should then extract all of those applications and then paste those into that folder there. And we can see it's done exactly that. So these will the applications I want to back up and we can see them in here. So all we need to do now is, is share out this folder. Now the easiest way to do that is just press the context key and we can then see this menu and the option we're looking for is called servers. So let's go down to that and let's click on that. And we see we have three choices of servers that we can start on our Fire Stick to share out that data. Now I recommend going for the FTP server option. So if you go onto that and press select, we now get the message that the FTP server is now started and we see the exact address that we need to type in onto our PC to connect into our Fire Stick and access our data. And we can see in my example, it's my IP address of 192.168.0.94 and then on port 2121. So let's now jump over to my PC and type that address in. Now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I'm doing a special promotion for the first 100 members whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. Okay, so here we are on my PC. And the first thing I recommend you doing is creating a folder for all of your application backups. So let's just call this Fire Stick Apps. Let's open that up. Let's just leave that to one side. And now let's open up Explorer again. And on a separate window, let's now type in that address into File Explorer. So that was just FTP colon forward slash forward slash then my IP address of my Fire Stick, so 192.168.0.94, and then a colon, and then port 2121. Let's press enter. And just like that, guys, we now have direct access to all of the files on our Fire Stick. And we can see the different folders here. Let's now open up the downloader folder. Now, the great thing about doing it this way is we actually have read and write access to these folders. So let's say, for example, I want to uh, delete this file over here and click on that, click on delete or press delete. And that's now actually been removed from my Fire Stick. So that's also another way we can use to manipulate the files on our Fire Stick. OK, so what we're going to do now is choose those applications. So let's say I want to back up this one, this one, uh, this one, this one, and pretty much all the stuff here. So once you've clicked on all of the applications you want to back up, I can now just drag them to my folder. And just like that, we've now backed up all of those applications directly from our Fire Stick onto our PC. So do give a thumbs up for that. So once you've backed up all of those applications you want to save, we can now plug in our next Fire Stick, whichever Fire Stick we want to send these applications to, and then repeat the process. So let's go back over to my Fire Stick. 
So let's say I've now plugged in a brand new Fire Stick, which doesn't have any applications installed. I just install one application, which is Mi Explorer. Once I install that, I now press the context key. I once again go to servers. I start the FTP server again. That's now started. We get the IP address. Let's now jump over to my PC. We then type in the address of the other Fire Stick. I mean, in my example, I'm using the same one, but I hope you guys are still with me. So we type the address in, press enter, and we now see the contents of that Fire Stick. We then once again go to the downloader folder, and we see that the folder is empty because no applications have been downloaded. I then go over to my backup folder, and just like that, I can highlight all of these applications, drag them across, and all of those applications are now being pushed onto that new Fire Stick. So just like that, guys, we can very easily use the same applications on whichever Fire Stick that we like. Okay, they're now copied. Let's go back over to my Fire Stick. I can now stop the FTP server, press back. Now, for example, any application I want to install, I can just click on that, select the option to install, click on install, and that's now all done. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you are asking for a process on how we can back up applications from one Fire Stick and then put them onto another Fire Stick. So I do hope you like this one. Do let me know and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.